Hey, so I'm just going to do a little bit of an astronomy minute here to explain a concept in astronomy in about a minute within a order of magnitude or so forth. I wanted to do this quick video on why the cosmic expansion tells us that the Big Bang happened. And I'm going to do this with a little model universe right here. The way this works is imagine the elastic is space time and these little pins in it are galaxies. Now, what happens when space time expands? The galaxies move away from each other. Another example people sometimes do is ants on the surface of an expanding balloon or plums inside a, a rising piece of bread. But I like this because it's a really simple one dimensional example that you could do at home if you have pens and a rubber band or something like that. But you can just stretch it out and see those galaxies moving away from each other. The galaxies aren't actually physically moving. They're fixed in space. That's why I like to use these pins. They're fixed to the elastic. But as you stretch it out, they move away from each other because the space between them is expanding because that universe is getting bigger. What's more, fix your eyes on any one pen. Like, let's say this pen right here. You'll notice that from that pen's perspective, it's standing still and all the other pins are moving away from it. But if I were in this pin right here and I expand, it thinks all the pins are moving away from it and it's standing still. In an expanding universe, every point in the universe sees the rest of the universe moving away from them while they stand still. It's not because they're in the center of the universe and everything's moving, actually moving away from it. It's because the space between everything is expanding, but you see it from your perspective, you're standing still. What's more, take like this pin at the end right here and then compare the first, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth pins along the elastic. Notice that first pin is moving away kind of slowly. But this last pin is moving away really, really fast. In fact, I've spaced them evenly, so it's probably moving about six times as fast as that first pin. There is more space between the first pin and the seventh pin versus the first pin and the six, second pin. That means that there is more space that is expanding. Space expanding is scales things up. So the further away something is, the more space you have between it, the more space is expanding and the faster it appears to be moving away from you. This is the basis of the Hubble law. When we looked at galaxies in the cosmos, we found that not only were they all moving away from us, but the further away a galaxy is, the faster it's moving. Now, these examples are somewhat limited in their scope because you can see I'm stretching it out into space around me. And I, people always ask, well, what is the universe expanding into? The universe isn't expanding into anything. It's just expanding. The volume of reality is growing. It's just very hard to visualize that three-dimensionally, which is why I use this one-dimensional example. But if that's still tripping you up, you can think of it as sort of expanding in time. That as the universe moves forward in time, it expands spatially. And this is one of the reasons why some versions of uh, cosmology say that if the universe were ever to reverse that expansion and starts shrinking down, time might reverse as well. Now, most people don't believe that, but it is certainly on the cards. We may never know if the universe doesn't contract. And if it does contract, then you'll watch this video again and uh, I'll untell you everything I just told you. So that's an explanation of why the Hubble flow implies an expanding universe and eventually led to the theory of the Big Bang. And I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the rest of the uh, post is in the description below so you can see my response to someone claiming the Big Bang isn't real. In the meantime, thank you for watching.